Are you taping? Mm -hmm. oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Blair the Bee Man. Uh, today we're going to show you how to, in, what was the word? How to put a hive of bees into a top bar beehive. And trust me, we are truly amateurs. Here we are tonight, today in lovely Colorado with our natural surrounding flowering plants. Uh, <laughs> I bought this top bar beehive off the bee off the internet. Um, we went with the nostalgic look, shingles, so that it would fit into our gardens. I bought these from Pigeon Mountain Company, a nook of Italian bees. We are presently at 9,000 feet. We are planting natural wildflowers that will grow up here in order to help these gentlemen along, as well as I got a bee feeder for them. Uh, prior to the bees coming, I did some experiments and I melted some beeswax on all of my slats to make them feel more at home. Also, I tried an experiment by melting a piece of actual comb onto one of them to see which one they would probably like better. Uh, of course, all of this was taken from the internet, which there's so many websites, so you're truly getting a first-hand look at somebody trying it for the first time. Nothing but a Google educator. Okay. Hello, folks. We're back with Blair the Bee Man. I had to take a little intermediate break there for a moment because my partner was feeling a little blue. Um, the first thing I'm going to do right now before I put the bees in is make sure I fill up their feeder, which is specially designed for this top bar hive. Uh, I mixed a 1-1 uh, a one -one ratio, which was recommended on Google because a 1-1 one -one ratio in the springs it uh, stimulates the queen to start producing comb. And then for the summertime, it will go to a 2-1 ratio. And in the wintertime, it goes to a 3-3 ratio. Of course, I've got all this information off of Google. And of course, we're in the mountains, which is a whole new experiment because nobody around here has a beehive in the mountains. Okay, now I'm going to get ready to take the bees out. Um, we were going to do it raw dog and go, go gangster on them. And just go with no top and everything because I saw in a video some young ladies doing it. No problems, no stings or anything. But when we picked up the bees this morning, they looked a little pissed off. So um, I'm going to put the suit on. That way at least I stay calmer for the bees. And maybe they won't freak out and sting my f camera lady. <laughs> Which I know she would appreciate. Thank you. Okay, we ordered this little beehive suit here from Lakewood. Um, I put some sweatpants on with some elastic bands. In case you feel like crawling up my leg, put some long socks on. Um, be the first time putting this on to myself. Okay, also, I went and got a brand new spray bottle because you don't want to use. I'm, I'm trying to think like a bee, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this bottle is brand new, had no chemicals, no nothing in it. A bee is natural, we're having problems with bees lately. So this is our contribution trying to help bring the bees back. Um, this is the same sugar water mixture. They say to spray the bees, they get all sticky with honey and everything. That way they're more preoccupied with their self than messing with me. Because I hear their little stings are kind of hot when they come out of the post office. Okay. So the next no, we don't need those instructions. So I guess the first step, I'm going to remove all this trash. This is going to be some shipping stuff. The bees aren't stacked up on each other. Uh, comes with a top stapled in. The queen is attached to this little tab right here. I guess the first thing I'm going to do, oh, is spray the bees and calm them down. <laughs> they say when you spray them with this stuff, like I said, they get all sticky. And it calms them down, so they're less worried about you. Who knows? They might actually like it. And I really hope that my camera lady stays calm over there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pry off this lid, keeping in mind that. I'm going to need this thing to put back over the hole once I get her out so that the bees don't escape. And pop these staples out so that I can lay it back down over the hole. 
So, when you first take the lid off, of course, not enough room for one to sneak out. There's a couple little dead little suckers there. Whew. Okay. Now we're going to try to get this can out. Which they told me if I press down on one side, the other side would pop up. Which doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> I pressed down on this side. Somehow I got to get this can out. Sorry about that, folks. We had to take a short intermission, a uh, sip of beer, <laughs> bit of the bong, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> had to go get a pair of pliers. It seems as if this feeder can is in here pretty tight. So when you try to take it out, if I could grab it by one side and help bring it out a little at a time, it doesn't seem to be cooperating. <laughs> doesn't want to come out e evenly so we're gonna have to try to invent a better way of getting this out but as you can tell I wasn't lying about we truly are amateur oh I hosted. we've got it to the edge folks so here I'm gonna have to caution my viewers for the sake of my camera lady that if she has to run she has to run <laughs> I don't understand if you give her you gotta love that camera girl um Okay, what I'm going to attempt to do is take this feeder can out. Obviously, I'm going to get this ready. And hopefully, they just come right off the feeder can. But you know how life is. Nothing cooperates properly. And I'm kind of glad. Oh, and this is definitely a tight fit, folks. <laughs> this one doesn't even want to come out the bottom. So they do make life difficult, don't they? Okay. One bee has escaped. Do not alarm, folks. I'm safe. I'm going to do something like this. I mean, I'm not the brightest fish in the pond. But I'll slide this across. And we had a few escapees, as you can tell. They seem to be awful gentle. Maybe it's because they're full of sugar. Okay, we have the feeder can here. Which I have no clue how they got the food out. I may put this in the hive next to the other feeder since they're already used to it. Which, I'll go ahead and just put that down the floor there for them. But I really don't see how they're going to eat this. Because when it leaks out the bottom, they can't get to it. So, we're going to skip that little operation, folks. Because I have a brand new feeder for them. And um, I'm going to take my little buddy here. He's awfully calm. Look at him. He's not even trying to sting me, so I will throw him in and start the process off. Okay, and the next step is I'm going to have to get this queen bee out. As you can see, she's attached to this little tab. For safety purposes, I'm going to spray my bees again because, hey, you were taking my queen away from me. I'll be pissed off too. Right, I'll spray those little fellas I got loose. So far, they're living up to reputation. It might be because I'm calm. You never know, but... Um, I'm going to try to get this out. Let's we'll see if we can get the queen out now without a big stink. Oh, she's covered hard in bees, too. Yeah, they don't want to seem to let her go. I'm going to go ahead and use the bee brush at this point. Try to get as many off as possible before they come out. And close it back up. As you can see, they're trying to get out. We're going to get these guys off. Careful, I don't think they're that mad because we're not moving any. I'm not making any sudden jerks or anything. But here we go with the queen. They say you want to check her first to make sure that she's all right. And as you can see her right there, she's the largest one in there with her little buddies and everything. This is awesome. Here's that small cork we got to take out. Um... I brought a small screw up here somewhere, <laughs> and here it is. Um, I brought a screw to get the cork out the bottom. They say just stick it in there a little bit. Can you get this one off me? Come on, buddy. <laughs> uh, we had a, a slight trespasser. Trying to pull the cork out because all that's in there is just some kind of candy stuff or something. See, it comes right out. Piece of candy in there. And they will eat their way through that in time. 
So what I'm going to do now is staple her to one of the thingies, but so that she's nice and even. Hmm. Hanging perpendicular. Hmm. I don't think I have to take both. Yeah, I just took the candy side out. I'm going to staple her. Ooh. <laughs> don't get mad, fellas. I, heard, I know it was loud noise. I'm going to staple her. I'm going to give her some room to hang. Right to the one of the rails. And I'm going to put her in here. And hopefully she stays down there. Now, anyway, I'll stuff all them in there. I'm going to take all this stuff off the top because the next step is just to pour our bees in. So, as soon as I get them in there, I'm going to want to close up the hive as quick as possible so that they get used to the little house going on here. Well, we got all kind of loose brothers around here. I'm going to spray them again. Some chicken, I guess. Um, I don't suppose I need the brush anymore. I'm going to spray them again. Which... Okay. I think they've got enough sugar right now. Get my slats all ready. Go back in. Okay. The next part on the videos... You say you got to thump them. Hmm. You got to thump them to get them all down to the one side. And get ready to dump them in. Just pour them right into the hive. And as you can see, they've all fallen down pretty nicely. And so now I'm going to attempt to uh, just dump them right into this hive. And here we go. I'm gonna, I'm shaking them around a little bit because I got the suit on, see what I mean? If I didn't have that suit on, I might be a little nervous. They say the rest of them, it's not a big problem. Just go ahead and set them under and they'll crawl up on their own. I'm gonna open up another door for them so they can find their way up in there. And actually, that's it folks. As you can see, uh, this is excellent. We've been waiting for these bees forever up here. So, uh, I plan on making some more videos for y'all out there as we go step to step and as we build our career as Blair the Bee Man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and close back up this hive now. Uh, it's recommended after uh, three hours to go ahead and check. Um, obviously, I got this kind of hive with a viewing window. So that way I don't have to open up the hive to disrupt them. Uh, this comes with a viewing window. As you can see, you can check out the bees. Um, they say in three hours I should check. And they should be all congregated up here by the queen, making themselves at home. And here's my feeder right here. So they're already walking over there, so they know where the feeder is. And, um, that's, that's about it for Blurred Bee Man, folks. And, uh, yeah, keep your head up, and, uh, here's, here's to Colorado.